Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you want to learn how to make smarter, more protected trade entries using the power of technical indicators, then you're in the right place. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up the ATR trailing stop loss strategy right inside TradingView. By the end of this tutorial, you'll not only know how to add this handy tool to your chart, but you'll also understand exactly what an ATR trailing stop loss does and why it matters for your trading decisions. Let's dive right in. Start by opening up your trading view chart. At the top of the platform, you'll find the indicators button. It kind of looks like a little squiggle or magnifying glass. Go ahead and click that. This opens up the indicators search window, which is where you can explore all sorts of smart add-ons for your analysis. In the search bar, type ATR. ATR stands for Average True Range, which is a popular indicator traders use to measure market volatility. The higher the ATR, the more the price is moving around. Now, after typing ATR, look through the results and find the indicator labeled ATR Trailing Stop Loss. Go ahead and click on it to add it to your chart. Once it's loaded, you'll probably notice something right away. If you've got bearish candles showing on your chart, they might be colored in green. This can be a little distracting or confusing, especially if you prefer your chart colors to remain consistent or you're following a specific color coding system. Let's tweak that so your chart stays clear and easy to read. To remove those green colors on the bearish candles, hover over to the ATR trailing stop loss indicator name on your chart, usually up at the top left. There's a little gear icon there, which is the settings button. Click that to open up the settings window. Now within that window, look for the style tab. This is where you can control how the indicator looks visually on your chart. Under style, you'll see various options, including something called bar colors. Uncheck the box next to bar colors. Give yourself a moment here, this part is really about personalizing your view, so don't worry if you need to look around for the right box. Once unchecked, you'll see that the unusual coloring is gone and your candlesticks return to your preferred colors. Much cleaner. While you're still in the settings, you might also notice options like length or multiplier under the inputs tab. Here, where you can truly fine-tune the ATR trailing stop loss to match your personal strategy or the time frame you're analyzing. Maybe you're working on a very fast chart and want quicker signals, or maybe you're looking at longer trends and want your trailing stop to respond more slowly. Experiment with these settings to find what fits your trading style. Now, let's pause for a second to clarify what the ATR trailing stop loss actually does for you. Think of it as a dynamic safety net. Instead of setting a fixed stop loss at a specific price, the ATR trailing stop loss uses recent market volatility to automatically adjust how close or far your stop loss is. So when the market is really active and prices swing widely, your trailing stop moves further away, giving your trades more room to breathe. When things are calm, it tightens up, protecting your position from any sharp reversal. It's a bit like having a smart, flexible seatbelt that loosens and tightens based on how bumpy the ride is. And that's all there is to it. You've now set up the ATR trailing stop loss indicator on TradingView, cleaned up your chart's colors, and learned how this tool can give your trades an adaptive edge. If you got value from this walkthrough, don't forget to tap that like button and drop a comment below if you have any questions or want more tips about trading view or trading strategies. And of course, make sure you subscribe for more step-by-step -step tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching and happy trading.